Whatever, whatever. The whole facts are crossed. No, no, no. I want to be. I want to be clear. No. <laughs> of course, I, of course. No, Why would no, you do no, that? No hits on anybody. They're putting a hit on me. <laughs> that that's what I'm talking about. Do you uh, think? What is the possibility that you could potentially get killed down in Mexico? Real talk. I'd real say, talk. Shit. I'd say about five percent. Five percent. Okay. Okay. And. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I'm on a call. Relax. Um, okay. Okay. But there is that possibility. It, like, is that something that you're kind of worried about? Well, like, I mean, actually, you know, if somebody told you you had 5% chance of like. Sure. It's on my mind. Yeah, it's yeah, on my it, mind. It, it, it will be on your mind, right? Like, Dude, I think you need to come. I need. Th I think you need to come back from from Mexico. You got to come back in the states. You know, it's it's like stop running from the problem. Stop running from your past ghosts. Stop running from what eats you up inside all day, every day. Don't run from it. Tackle it. Be honest with yourself, Ethan. I think if you're more honest with yourself and with your audience, I think it would put you in such such a better headspace. You know. Don't run from well, it anymore. Don't ignore it. Tackle it head on, Ethan. Okay, that's my advice to you, buddy. Well, and I appreciate that. And it's not about lying. It's about, like, I wouldn't tell what I was going to do next anyway because that just gives people, you know. Good, good, um, good. And if I ever see you doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get in your DMs and I'm going to be stern with you, okay? You should. Good. All right, I got to hop, dude. I wish you all the best, guys. Thank you, brother. Peace. Double pancakes. Um, I mean, you know, <laughs> even if I knew exactly what I was going to do, which I just might, by the way. Um, you know, why would I get on Twitter and, and tell my, my enemies are listening to this right now, too. You know what I mean? Um, so that would be stupid. Um, obviously there's a few options. I can stay here. Um, I don't think that there's any sort of reasonable case against me at all for the reasons that I stated, but I could go back to the United States. I'm a U.S. citizen. I could go back anytime I want. I just got my passport renewed last week. Um, so, like, I could drive to the border tonight and cross into the United States with almost no issue. The only thing is, I have two cats here, and I care more about these cats than I do, like, <laughs> anybody or anything. And so it's like, okay, pack up your shit, pack up your cats. I have one, like, cat carrier. I lost the other one. And so, you know, it, it's a little bit of an issue if I did that. But no, nothing – I could do that, though, is what I'm saying. Like, um, that wouldn't actually stop me. But – you know, I talked about this in my tweet. There's been a 10-year effort before these people to try to take me offline and how, oh, how evil he was while I was coming inside of you earlier this morning. Uh, you didn't think it was that evil. Um, so, like, um. Again, I don't want to get too graphic because it doesn't help me, but it also doesn't make any sense what's being said. So that's that's kind of why I came out here to talk a little bit. Um, and I'm looking at a few different options, no doubt. Um My mouth was dry as fuck, and not from weed. God damn. No, no, maybe not. Um, 
you know, I, I, I feel like it would be dishonest and a disservice to not come out here and yeah, hmm. please do. Let's see. Somebody just said they would pay for the cat carrier. Um, I had two of them, but I lost one during my other move. And um, my two cats hate each other, for those who don't know. And so putting them together in the same, like, box would be something that's not really... Um, Cleo's really small and smokes really big and I can't let Cleo get hurt. She's ten years old, like um I I'd rather see a lot of other people get hurt, uh, other than her. So um I don't know, it's it's a um, it's it's a unique situation. I think that's safe to say. But uh the things being said about me are not true. And people can take that for what it's worth. I know people who don't believe me won't believe that. I know people who are on my side will believe that. Um, but you talk about attempted murder. You talk about trying to kill people. Okay, well, you know, uh, attempted murder has, like, pictorial evidence. It has witnesses it has just anything besides two disgruntled women gossiping amongst each other so you know part of me says just stay here because it's like they don't have anything but the other part of me says just get the fuck out so I don't know I'm not sure which part of me I'll win, but um, it, it's 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 a ridiculous situation, uh, especially when you uh, spent the last two days with a certain person and you've seen how they behaved um, in person. You know what they've said and done in person. Um, but again, I'm a I'm I'm a United States citizen. Like it's like I'm in a foreign country. So, um, you know, you have to take that sort of thing into account as well. So, um, I don't know. It's it it's it's disgruntled. It's disturbing. It's disgusting. It's deplorable. And it's also just absolutely despicable, uh, is what I think. And you act like you don't know who I was. Yeah, you know who I was. You know exactly who I was, because I told you. So, all this, oh, I had no idea. I don't. I had no idea about the kill stream. I had no idea. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did, because yeah, I told you. So... Again, these things are not true. Um, the main charges against me, or whatever you want to call them, they're not even charges. They're allegations uh, against me are not true. Um, but still, do I really want to hang around here? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So I really couldn't tell you. If you want any breaking news, like uh, I, I really couldn't tell you that. Um, there's a few complications because, like, my cat's like, I'd rather him c come put a bullet in my fucking head, uh, than leave these cats here to die. Um, so, because they're the only entities, really in my personal life to actually give a fuck about me, obviously. 
Um, so if you're asking me if I would leave smoke here, if I would leave Clio, especially here, um, no, I would not. I, I would rather die. So, um, you know, there's, there's some complications. There's some, there's a lot of talk about how many connections so-and-so has. I have all this screen caps after they deleted all my other messages, by the way, which I let them do. Of course, I didn't know that they were trying to delete evidence, but whatever. Um, I let them do that. But in the in the other messages, they're talking about all the connections they have and what they can do to me and who they know and who their family is and what they can do to me. I'm not scared to die. I'm not scared to go to jail. I'm not wings of redemption. I'm not DSP. I'm Ethan Ralph. And I, I would hope it would be clear by now that I don't give a fuck. Now, do I want bad things to happen off bullshit? No, of course not. But, you know, a, a part of me is, is willing to let it ride uh, as well. Um, and if they had anything, they would have put it out. And where is it? Where is it? Where are the photographs? Where are the anything? Witnesses, like, none of this shit fucking happened. There was an argument, I'll say that. But everything else is complete bullshit. And I know they're listening in right now, too, by the way. And if you have it, put it out. Because a lot of women over a decade have tried to shut me down, usually with weaker shit than this, but um, it does happen. Uh, and I'm not going to be shut down unless it's in a grave or a jail cell. So I've said that before on air, and I wasn't joking. I wasn't joking at all. And so I'm still I'm still deciding what to do. I think Salvo might be right, honestly. Um that's just time to come back. Um and let the let the chips fall where they may. Um but also the things that are being claimed, there's no evidence behind them besides people just saying shit. Well, that's not evidence. So, again, uh, I completely deny any type of attempted murder charge. And I shouldn't say this on air, but uh, I, I wouldn't have to attempt murder if I wanted to do that. Um you know, it, it would just be a murder charge. <laughs> uh, so I shouldn't say that because that's kind of controversial. But uh, then they're going through and saying, oh, what did he say about Mexicans? What did he say about this and that? I'm a fucking entertainer, dude. I've talked all kinds of shit about everybody, including myself, including right now. So if you have something, put it out. Because all I've seen is two harpies commiserating about how they missed the Ralph a dick. And I don't, I can't say that I blame them, to be honest with you. Because it's damn good. But if you have anything, put it out. Don't bullshit. Don't. Don't. You know, oh, what, this 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 order? Oh, I have a DVRO against Faith Vickers, with Faith Vickers. By the way, I signed that willingly. I admitted to zero crimes during that DVRO because I did not commit any crimes. 
uh, a person who I'm not supposed to speak about legally has testified in court that those things didn't happen. So, again, you don't really have anything. I mean, the room. <laughs> I did plead no contest to revenge porn. That's true. Like, I mean, I, I can't lie. I can't lie about that. Um, although my lawyer would have just absolutely fucking destroyed. I should have let her. But I thought I was doing the right thing because my daughter was about to be born. Uh, somebody's daughter is about to be born, and um, it's like. Well, let's just get it out of the way and 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 clear it off. But clearly, it was a mistake. Anytime you're accused of these types of things, you should fight to the absolute goddamn last fucking bottom dollar. Do not sign anything in court. And by the way, what I signed doesn't admit guilt. It doesn't admit what they say it admits. It's just me saying, okay, you're saying this, I'll sign the DVRO, whatever, leave me alone. I have never been convicted or credibly accused of violence against a woman ever in my life. Ever. So... When you talk about what evidence you have, you don't have any. If you did, you would show a conviction of, of violence against a woman. You don't have that because it never fucking happened. You don't have pictures because it didn't fucking happen. So I'm not going to waste too much time, you know, speaking because... Any lawyer would tell me, shut the fuck up right now. Um, but everything I just said, I think, is is enough legalese, enough um, enough on target that, that I don't really have to take it any further. Um, but the reason you don't see those things is because they didn't fucking happen. I signed a DVRO to just like clear it off the books because I thought it was better for my future family. Of course, well, that was a dumbass mistake. Uh, trust no bitch. I mean, the guy who coined that phrase should probably listen to it every once in a while, I have to say. <laughs> the guy who coined the phrase trust no bitch should probably listen to that advice every once in a while but I don't always and you know these are the types of things that happen and um, I don't even you know these people hate me um, they didn't yesterday morning they damn sure didn't hate it um, but all of a sudden now they're my mortal enemies well, I say bring it on. That's what I say. Or let it go. Because the only way to take me off these fucking airwaves is to fucking kill me or lock me up for life. And you don't have either of those capabilities. Either one of you. So... I guess those would be, would be my final words. I don't want to talk too long because, like I said, the longer I talk, the more apt I am to um, to say some things that I shouldn't say. Uh, but all those things would be said uh, if it came down to it. Um, I would think some people would just rather let this go. But um, if they don't, then I'm not going to either. And the evidence, the evidence is on my side, period. And if they had any real evidence, you would have already seen it. 
Have you seen it? Press anything if you've seen it. Because you haven't. So they can say anything about the famous internet misogynist Ethan Rouse and think they can fucking get away with it, which they usually do, by the way. But it has no merit. It has no basis in law. And, you know, two scorned lovers gossiping about me on Instagram ain't going to cut it. I'm just going to let you ladies know. But other than that, I wish you well. And, uh, again, I really have to cut myself short because I could do this for, like, three hours. By the way, hell of a turnout tonight, 300 people. Maybe I should do more Twitter spaces. I don't know. Shout out to Salva for coming on. I don't want to say too much more because, um, you know, there could be other um, considerations that I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not a lawyer, right? And so I, I don't want to say too many things that could be, you know, used against me or, or, twisted against me. Um, so I just want to put my side of it out there because I damn sure see a lot of bullshit and lying motherfuckers putting their side out there. So I just wanted to do that myself and uh, I'll make my decision very, 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 very soon. And uh, I appreciate you guys listening.